able to find our personal style because finding your personal style is not a very easy thing to do but these tips i hope is going to help you figure out what your personal style is which three words actually describe you how do what about words you use to describe how you dress what do you gravitate towards this is the purpose of this video so let's get into it yeah my name is magdalene on this channel i talk about fashion travel and life and i do believe you look good you feel your best so let's get into these tips to help you figure out what your style actually is about is you deciding to tailor your fashion style to what you actually do so before you can determine what your fashion style is you have to start with what you do so if you work corporate you know most of your outfits corporate outfits and if you work as a freelancer you will be having more casual outfits so that's we actually have been able to form the kind of style that you typically gravitate towards so what do you actually do for a living it depends on what you do then you figure out what this like for me i have my normal corporate job which is monday to friday i'm I have to have corporate outfits and I wear casual outfits very few times in the year so I have very few casual outfits in my closet so I have more work clothes like if you check my closet currently I have 80% of my outfits as work clothes so this have actually helps me to form a particular type of fashion style that I have which is actually describe what I really am so you start with what you do to determine your fashion style go into your closet search through and sort the outfit that you actually wear most of us have too many outfits that we really don't wear or we really don't care about some of the outfits you, you know that you don't gravitate towards it. maybe you bought it on a whim and uh, you bought it during one influencer campaign or you bought it because you feel it's good on your neighbor but it actually does not suit you and you know you don't gravitate towards this kind of outfit sort through your present and figure out the outfit that you actually do like and the ones you don't like then you try and create outfits and looks with them so this process of creating outfits and looks you begin to pay attention to what you actually wear and how the outfit look so make it easier for you to know how this outfit look you have to start trying to take pictures of whatever style you created so if you go through like if you are an influencer or maybe you're just like a regular corporate girl and you go through your maybe you are such that actually post on instagram you go through your feed you actually look at the kind of outfit that you know that you always wear and you can draw inspiration from all those outfits that okay i want this before and i feel more confident in that this side is so when you create looks and style out of all these outfits you will definitely notice that this one you don't wear and you know you will not scrap it towards it or it is not your style or it's actually so tight currently or it is that so oversized now because you may either lose weight or gain weight so you check and sort through your clothes then the time okay well, these ones are the ones that actually outfits to create lookbooks and things that you, the style that you know you typically wear you notice that you may dis, uh, discover that you have gaps in your closet these gaps could, could be like a scenario i had i had so many bottoms in different variations i had dress pants i had um skinny jeans i had loose white the uh, white leg pants i had the uh, different variation of buttons including skirts but if i go through and so i realize i don't have as much stock as the type of bottoms i have so i discovered that okay i need more tops I'll, then you now go to which about style of tops do you like do you like cow neck tops do you have do you like tops that are just clean cuts do you like fluffy sleeve uh, tops or is it more chic or girly vibe of top so you just discover which is missing or if it's bottoms okay i want a particular style of skirt do, do i prefer to wear a cut skirt or i prefer to wear bodycon skirt or i prefer my bodycon skirt to be a little bit longer to the knee to a little bit away from your knee that is the style of skirt i actually prefer when it comes to bodycon skirts bodycon skirts are a little bit short or above my knee i don't feel the vibe anymore so you, you discover these things and then you go shopping you go shopping i'm not saying you should go for a spree and when i say you should go shopping you go and shop for all these things that are missing in your closet so you need if it's shorts you want you can't get it then you actually buy these things and the other way you can actually buy these things so that you will not spend too much because you may just presume okay i need i need buttons and i like it on somebody or because normally if you check it we are actually influenced by what we see on social media and all what we see around the environment so you may buy things on the way my you why you don't like it so the best way to actually do fill those gaps in your place you can try and go for thrift shopping so thrifting in that way you spend less and you get rare gems sometimes if you're lucky you get real designer pieces while thrifting so 
you go for thrifty to shop for all these basics that you know it's missing in your clothes that you know you need to complete and create more looks and continue to create more looks for a period of time you can create more looks for like three to six months then you take pictures of this so that you know if there's a pattern and a particular style you go for so if you do this after a period of three to six months you discover that this is a particular style that you actually like so if you look at it you discover that okay i like more tennis style skirts than wearing body con i don't like anything that tightens me tighten my body i like oversized very free body i my style is to go for a comfortable style you will see it with the pictures use a three words to describe three three words uh, pattern to actually describe your personal style so for my own personal style i would say i like to be girly in my outfits anything feminine i like my outfit to be chic and fitted to the body and i also like anything that is a little bit edgy in my outfit so you can see me dressed sometimes as very very chic and girly and sometimes you will see me dressed in an edgy fit so i can just decide to wear boots with the dress or i'll go and wear a very big skirt and belt to a dress so i like anything statement so i am such that I gravitate towards anything edgy anything that is out of the norm so that's my style too. So you two can discover the three words that describe you. You can notice that okay, I'm a minimalist because you wear so many neutral colors. I wear black or you wear white and you don't like anything that is colorful. You don't do vibrant. So the first word for you is minimalist. And if you have described that to the minimalist, okay, is it cool girl style or do I like tomboy style? You know what it actually is. Okay, I do more of girly style, anything feminine, I love it. Or I like anything cheap, fitted to the body. Everything is perfect the way it looks. Okay, that one is my style. You can say that in all those pictures you've taken. Or you could describe yourself as elevated chic because it may be such that you, as much as you wear elevated, you don't go for edgy, but you go for things that speaks for themselves, elevated basics or elevated chic. So it depends on those three words. If you've been able to use three words to describe you, that means you're getting close to what your you personal out your personal style. Then you create a wish list of things you want to have in your closet. So this time around, I already know. Okay, even if I go and buy blazer, I will not wear it because I don't like feeling it and I don't have where to wear it because I work, I work from home. Or even if I say, okay, maybe I'll wear it on Sunday, I rarely go to church because I still watching the service online. So you will figure out, okay, these things I don't need them. These are the things that I actually do wear, that I actually feel comfortable in. So you now write with the wish list of all these things and you keep on filling your closet like that with the process so you know we initially said that you should go to shopping this time around that you are very sure that okay this is what i actually wear you cannot go ahead and splurge on what you want you can go to fast fashion sites like sheen ego shoes and all that or you can just go for thrifting if that's what you want and you can decide to go for designer pieces but this time around you know that these things i'm getting i'm very sure i will wear them i hope these tips have helped you to discover what your personal style is because these things work for me to discover what my style is i know i can never be found dead <laughs> in anything oversized or i don't like anything tomboy i had a phase of my tomboyishness but it's gone so what's your personal style comment down below let me know what your personal style is if you love this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel channel that time bye guys